icing sugar yeah. and that we put in our butter to work the butter in to, to resemble sand like breadcrumbs form it into a ball almost press it together without overworking and we can uh, put it in some glad wrap and let it rest for an hour and uh, put it in the fridge so it sets nice and hard okay. once it's pressed it for an hour take it out of the glad wrap and we're just going to roll it out flour the bench quite generously and not top two also the roll so we're going to roll it out keeping it round turning it keeping lots of flour underneath you want to roll it quite thin thinner the better get your tin pop it on top and you just want to give it a good cut about five centimeters diameter around the tin. And we remove the excess, but keep that because you can use it for later if, it, if your tap cracks. Spray the tin, and then now we want to get the pastry over the top of the rolling pin, and then you just creep it up. Roll it back over without putting any pressure on the tin, otherwise it will cut the pastry. If it tears, you can patch it up. But what you're best to do is lift the pastry and then push it in the corner so it reaches the inside without breaking. What you do now, this is a trick of mine. You lift the excess pastry up about a centimeter above the tin and pinch it. I do this so when it cooks, it falls onto the tin without breaking it. We put it on a tray. We put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes just so the pastry hardens. We're going to blind bake it. Blind bake it, you just need a piece of lard bake or some paraffin paper. You can use special um, blind baking stones or you can just use sea salt or grass even and then you're going to blind bake that for about 20-25 so from here you're best to seal the top with just a beaten egg and you just want to brush the top. And we're just going to put that in the oven for five minutes just to seal that So once it's come out and it's all baked and sealed, we're just going to cut the edges off and make it nice and neat. And to do that, just use a small knife, gently scratching the outside. So from here, we're going to make the mascarpone filling. In a medium-sized bowl, we're going to add the eggs. zest from one lemon and one orange. One vanilla bean to split the vanilla bean lengthwise. And remove the seeds inside just by scraping them now. And then we're going to whisk and beat the eggs up. And then we'll add one nip of contra. The sugar. Yeah, we'll 